Welcome to this lesson on parallelograms. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral, which means a four-sided polygon, with opposite pairs of parallel sides. So these two sides are parallel, and these two sides are parallel. Parallelograms have five different properties that we need to learn. So let's go over those. The first one we've already talked about, opposite sides are parallel. That's why it's called a parallelogram, of course. The next one is opposite sides are congruent, which means they have equal lengths. So for example, if this side had a length of 10, this side would also have a length of 10. And if this side had a length of 14, this would also be 14. The next property is opposite angles are congruent. So if this angle was 100 degrees, this angle would be 100 degrees. And if this angle was 80 degrees, this angle would also be 80 degrees. The next property says consecutive angles are supplementary. So remember consecutive means next to, so the next one if you go clockwise or counterclockwise. And then supplementary means they add to equal 180. So consecutive angles would be like these or like these or like these and as you can see those add to 180 100 plus 80 is 180 or these all of those are consecutive pairs and then the last property says that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other so here's a diagonal here's a diagonal they're going to cut each other into equal pieces. So those two pieces will be equal and these two pieces will be equal. Okay, so let's go over some examples. Number one says find each missing piece of the parallelogram. So we're given some information and we need to find the rest of the sides and angles. So first of all, we know opposite sides are congruent. So 10 and A will be congruent, which means A is 10. And then B would be 7. We also know that opposite angles are congruent. So 50 degrees and C will be congruent. So that means C is 50 degrees. We know consecutive angles are supplementary. So for example, these angles add to equal 180. So we can take 180 and subtract 50 and we get 130 which means angle E is 130. And because opposite angles are the same, angle D will also equal 130 degrees. All right, number two, find each missing piece of the parallelogram. So again, opposite sides are the same. So five and five, six and six. Diagonals will bisect each other. So the diagonals will be cut into two equal pieces. So 3 and B are equal in length. And 4 and A are equal in length. All right, look at number 3. Find each missing piece of the parallelogram. Okay, so we know opposite angles are congruent. So 100 degrees and B will be the same. So B is 100 degrees. In parallelograms, because we have parallel sides, you can have alternate interior angles. So think about these are parallel sides. Remember a transversal. So this is like a transversal. So that means that these are alternate interior and these are alternate interior. And remember back to our angles unit, alternate interior angles are equal, they're the same. All right, so let me get rid of all this extra stuff. So what that means is 60 degrees and C will be equal. So C is 60 degrees. Now to find the other angle, 
there's a couple things you can do. You can see that this parallelogram has been cut into a triangle. So we know that triangles have 180 degrees, so we can add 100 plus 60, which is of course 160, and we can subtract that from 180, which gives us 20. So this is 20 degrees. And then these are alternate interior angles, so those are also 20. Another way you could think about it is we know that this whole angle here and this whole angle here, they must be supplementary because they are consecutive. So this whole angle here must equal 80. So you could have taken 80 minus 60 and gotten 20. Same thing. All right, go ahead and pause the video now and try number four by yourself. All right, let's see how you did. So E is 21, D is 12, A is 82 degrees, sorry, B is 82 degrees, A is 98 degrees, and C is 98 degrees. All right, you can go ahead and stop the video now and complete parallelograms practice and check it with your teacher.